It's Monday, November 6th, and it's apparently Merger Monday as computer chip maker Broadcom is waving money at shareholders of Qualcomm in an acquisition offer worth well over $100 billion. And no, the companies are not related, despite the com name thing. And Qualcomm uses two M's, so there's that. Broadcom is the number five chip maker in the world, and Qualcomm is at number three behind number two Samsung and market leader Intel. And while such a merger or buyout or takeover likely wouldn't affect your daily life, it does have big implications for another company, Apple. Cupertino is currently having some legal disagreements with Qualcomm and has recently stopped using their chips in their various tech gadgets. HTC, Nintendo, and Google also use Qualcomm chips. However, the company has also recently come under scrutiny from the FTC for some unsavory business practices. Some analysts think that if the deal goes through, Qualcomm is reportedly not on board yet, the merger could wrap up the Apple and FTC complaints and everyone will resume happily making next generation phones and other amazing tech. Maybe they call it ComCom. Hit the link for more information about this possibly blockbuster tech merger. Speaking of companies that don't always get along, there appears to be a serious bit of detente happening between chipmaker Intel and chipmaker AMD. PC World is reporting that the two companies are cooperating on what could be a significant evolution in chip tech by essentially inserting or joining a high-end AMD graphics chip system into or onto an Intel Core processor using a new method called EMIB that allows chips to be connected at a basic level. The result is something called a system in package module, an evolution of the system on a chip tech currently found in just about everything. What does it mean for consumers? Well, for one, it means future super thin and light laptops could have the graphics power of a high-end gaming PC built in. And we can't think of anyone that wouldn't want that. Check out all the details at the link. Okay, school's out and it's time for our favorite kicker segment, known as the ridiculously expensive and fast car news segment. Swedish supercar maker Koenigsegg recently convinced the Nevada Highway Department to block off 11 miles of ultra-straight Highway 160 between Vegas and Pahrump so they could see just how fast they could get their top-tier Agera RS supercar to go. And guess what? It's pretty fast. It hit 284 miles an hour going one way with a bit of a tailwind and 271 going the other for an average of 277 miles an hour, which officially makes it the fastest production car in the world if you can call hand-built $2 million plus cars actual production cars. But Guinness does, so the challenge now falls to the equally ridiculous and admittedly awesome Bugatti Chiron and the new Venom F5, which Hennessy says may be able to top 300 miles an hour. Only one way to find out, right? Buckle up and hit the gas, we say. We'll let you know when this new record gets broken, and it'll probably be soon. We've got more fast car news and tech news over at Digital Trends, as well as on our Facebook page and YouTube channel. Be sure to check out all of our podcasts on iTunes or wherever you get yours. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.